Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to compress the MIDI velocities of a performance in Reaper. I have a piano performance in front of me, and it's way too dynamic, which means the loud notes are too loud and the quiet notes are too quiet. Let's hear it. Otherwise, I'm completely happy with the performance. So let's take a look at the MIDI by double clicking the MIDI item. Here are the MIDI notes, and here are the velocities. Let's hear it again and note the really quiet notes and the really loud notes. So we want to compress this performance to make the quiet notes louder and the loud notes quieter. So it'll sound a bit more even. But we don't want to lose the dynamics completely. So if we select all the notes and bring them up like this, it crushes them at the top, making the performance and the dynamics completely lost. And the same thing if we bring it down, drag it down to the bottom. It completely crushes all the velocities, making them mostly the same. And we don't want that. Undo it. So instead, we're going to compress it using a ratio. Make sure we select all the notes, then right click any of the notes, and go down here to Event Properties. And that opens up this dialog. Make sure we choose Note, and go down here to Velocity. And we could change the velocities based on the relative value. So we could do things like adding plus 30, which just makes them all louder, or bring it down minus 30, which makes them all quieter, which again doesn't affect the dynamics of the performance. We want to compress it. So the way to do that is to use the option either multiply or divide. So we can multiply it. By 0.5, hit apply, and it cuts the velocities in half. So now I could bring it up like this, and we've applied two to one compression. Now, if we wanted more, we could do it again times 0.5, or we could divide it to get the same result. Divide it by two, which basically cuts it in half. Then we can bring it up to taste. And we still preserved the dynamics of the performance. We just compressed it a bit. So the loud notes were quieter and the quiet notes were louder. So by doing this twice, we applied four to one compression. If we do it again, divide by two and bring it up. Now we've applied eight to one compression. But I think that's a bit too much. Undo it. Much better. Let's compare it to the original. Way too dynamic. After.
much better. Now this will also work on any MIDI performance we have. Really useful for drums. I have a drum performance here that's also too dynamic. Let's hear it. Once again, the loud notes are too loud and the quiet notes are too quiet. But again, we can fix this by opening up the MIDI and we can see how dynamic it is with the quiet notes and the loud notes. We want to compress these dynamics. Just select all the notes, right click, Event Properties, make sure we choose Note. Go to velocity, let's divide it by four, which would be four to one compression. Or we could multiply it by 0.25. Same thing. Apply it, and it brings down the velocities by that amount, and we could drag it up to taste. Much better. Before, and after. Now, if we wanted to work on each drum separately, we could do that as well. Let's say you're recording MIDI drums with a MIDI drum set, and the drum is not hitting the kick drum very evenly, or the snare. We can just fix each drum separately. Let me show you. Let's undo that. And now we're back to the original. Let's move this over here. And let's right click just the drum we want to work on. We'll start with the kick, which just selects all the kick drums. Then we can type F, which is going to open up filter events. And from here, we could choose note, note over here, use piano keys, just click that kick. So it chooses the note over here, and now those notes are in the filter. We could just see them right here and solo them right here. So we should just hear the kick. So we could fix the dynamics just for the kick. Go back here to note. Let's divide it by four. Bring it up. We still preserved some of the original dynamics. We just compressed the velocities. Let's hear it with the rest of the kit. So the kick is better, but we can still fix the snare. So to right click the snare, make sure we choose piano keys, click the snare, and it changes it right there. Just show the snare and solo it. Let's compress the snare. Bring it up. Let's hear it with the rest of the kit. Much better. Let's do the hi hat as well. Right click. Then just click it again so it shows up over here. Show only that event and solo it. Choose note, divide by four, bring it up. Let's hear everything.
much better. Let's hear it before. Way too dynamic. After. Much better. So that's pretty much it. That's how to compress the MIDI velocities of a performance in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.